That's right, Chris. Earlier in the postseason, Devils captain Scott Stevens took a puck to the ear in the series against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, Scott, there was speculation that he had to leave the game and speculation that he wouldn't return for that series. He actually returned the very next game. That's an example of just how tough Scott Stevens is. But just how tough is the puck? Our own Ray Ferraro finds out. Today's the lesson, power of the puck. I'm Professor Tom Hahn. How powerful is the puck? It's probably the most powerful thing out there. I'd say pretty powerful. If you get it in the right spot, uh, it doesn't hurt too much, but if you get it in the wrong spot, it, it can hurt you a little bit. I'll do whatever it takes to make a save, and even if you know it's going to hurt you, you won't care. Watermelon. Oh, I think it's, uh, it's going to crash into it. No way it's getting stuck in there. It's right there. Can't believe it. You're just trying to block the shot, basically, and during the game, you don't even think about it. it's going to hurt you. It's not. He can block it, no problem, but then uh, uh, he has to go to a hospital. <laughs> this is something that you're, you get good at. It's much like hitting. Some guys hit, some guys don't hit. Some guys block shots, other guys just don't block shots. Whips uh, are soft, so it can absorb the uh, impact energy. I'm not sure if it can penetrate the plywood. One shot. I think it's actually hitting the mouth with the puck. Teeth? Oh, well, no teeth left. <laughs> I didn't fracture my teeth, but they knocked them straight back. And now lesson two. Suppose that there is an endless ice rink. The question is, uh, when we have a puck which is hit at 100 miles per hour, how far this is going to travel? That's interesting. Never thought about it. To solve this problem, we have to know the forces acting on this puck. I can probably get it to about 70 miles an hour, so I don't know how far it's going to go. <laughs> because of this force, there will be a deceleration. Well, it would probably go across North America, I think. <laughs> Here, A is the acceleration, or dv, dt. I would think it's go for a mile. So we have uh, these uh, three equations to, to solve for B. Ooh. It's uh, about a quarter of a mile. I would have to think it could go at least a quarter of a mile. I guess uh, he must have uh, have a lot of uh, experience. Oh, yeah, I've been on lake. It's, that's fun, and it goes. Ray got quite a work out there. Every goaltender knows the most powerful puck is the one that's in the net. John?